Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to the Plate Wraps YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be showing you guys how to go from your standard license plate to this. Alright guys, so as soon as you get your Plate Wraps order, it's going to come in a bag similar to this. You can just simply go to the top and rip it open. We like to make sure it's a high quality bag so your product gets to you how it should. Some of the things that it's going to come with are some business cards if you guys want to share it with somebody or whatever, share the brand, rep it. It's gonna come with your background color of vinyl, and then it's also gonna come with all of your custom um, decals for the actual license plate. So all of these are exactly what you ordered um, on the site, and, um, and we're gonna show you how to install them now. All right guys, um, the first step is gonna be actually taking off your pre-existing plate. And as you can see right here, um, these type of fasteners you can either use a socket for or you can use a flathead screwdriver in this little groove. Uh, most cars are gonna be just like a Phillips screwdriver that's gonna be able to take it off. Other ones are gonna be more like this. Um, but for something like this, all you're gonna have to do is use a flathead screwdriver, simply put it in the groove and turn counterclockwise. And just keep in mind, uh, mainly when you're taking out the second one, but just be careful and hold the plate because it will, they tend to slide down and you don't want to be scratching up your car paint. But overall, it's pretty simple. Some vehicles do have four of these fasteners, but most of them will have uh, just two. All right, and as you can see, that's the last one. Now the plate is free. You can go ahead and just take that off and this is gonna be your plate. Okay, now that you took the plate off, what I always suggest doing is taking a picture just like this of the plate. And the reason why I say that is because after you're done wrapping the uh, the base of the plate with whatever color vinyl you chose, uh, knowing exactly where the California is based on your license plate is gonna help you align it when you're, um, when you're actually putting uh, the font that we provide you on. And it's gonna look exactly like this, so you're just gonna match it up and, um, and put that on the plate. All right, everyone, so we took the plate off, and as you can tell, it's pretty dirty, and we don't wanna be applying the vinyl to something that's dirty, because it's not gonna have the best adhesion. So, what we suggest you do is, while you can use water, um, using a little bit of isopropyl alcohol is a good alternative, and um, what I like to do is just put some onto a paper towel, and then just clean it. And that's just going to remove all of this. That's going to make it to where the uh, the vinyl isn't um, applied as well. So you just go around and clean it as good as you can. Even if it doesn't look super clean, um, the main thing is that you're getting all this off. All right, so now we cleaned off the plate, and as you can see, there was quite a bit of dirt on there, so that's good to get off. Now the next step is gonna be laying the background vinyl. And this part, I would say, probably takes the most time, um, especially if you're very particular about it. And when you first get the vinyl, you're gonna notice like some defects kind of to the, uh, the vinyl itself. But the great thing about this is we use pretty much the highest quality vinyl on the market. There is actually a protective layer over the top of it. So you're not gonna take that protective clear layer off until everything is perfect on the plate because that helps prevent any scratches to the actual vinyl itself. So I'm gonna show you that process now. So the first step is going to be removing the uh, the vinyl from the backing. All right, so now after you pull it off the backing, all you have to do is just try and center it to make it to where it's enough to overlap on each side. And you're just gonna place it like there. And then what I like to typically do is go in and find the letters and numbers first. And um, what I, I personally find to work best is work from the center out because you don't want anything no no really tension on the sides and that's just what helps look make it look the best so as you can see I'm finding all the uh, numbers and letters and you'll see why in a second now you see like this is pretty much the center right here you're gonna want to press down 
and you're gonna wanna work your way out. And the, the goal is to make it to where there's no like air trapped because that uh, any air trapped is gonna make bubbles and you're not gonna want that in your plate. And um, this vinyl actually has like multiple features to it. It has channels to make it to where the air comes out. And it also has um, the special adhesive to make it to where once you press down firmly on it, it, uh, it like adheres fully to like its full potential. So if you're just gonna be going like this and then pulling it off without doing all that, uh, it's gonna come off nice and easy. But once you press down hard on it, it's fully gonna activate the, uh, the adhesive. So it's, it's extremely good vinyl and it's definitely not the cheapest, but we didn't wanna cut any corners when, um, when selling these kits. As you can see, uh, this plate had the tags on um, on each one of the sides, so like the month one and then the year one. So if you have uh, like a fresh plate and you never put that on, and then you wanted to put the plate wrap, you could put that over it, um, and that would I, that would be the easiest option. But for most people, they're gonna have it already on their car, so that's not a big deal. All you have to do is just take a uh, a knife, preferably one that's like sharper, so you have cleaner cuts. And you could actually even use something like our business card and you can use that as a uh, like a ruler uh, a ruler is another option just to make sure your cuts are nice and straight and um, and give that clean look see so, yeah, all you're gonna do is just basically cut out off the uh, the black vinyl um, from the sticker below so in this case we're gonna just be using a ruler just because I find that work to work best and uh, you'll see how we do it here so I'm just gonna start on the top use the ruler, press firmly down. And what I like to do is I like to cut less um, rather than more because one, you can always cut more and two, it's definitely gonna look better if you have uh, almost like a smaller looking sticker, like which nobody's gonna notice, then cut too far and have white exposed on the actual plate. So I would definitely suggest cutting cautiously and, um, and cutting less because you can always cut more. So as you can see, I just cut here. You can go two if you choose, and then uh, I like to rotate it for each time around. So I just kind of pull that off. So now I'm gonna go long, long uh, lengthwise. Okay, so there's the cut there. There's the next cut, and this uh, sticker is actually messed up in the first place, so I'm gonna kind of plan accordingly for that. My last cut. It's always good to kind of run it a second time, and then you'll see, I'm gonna just pull this off and the yellow sticker is gonna be, or whatever color you have, is gonna be below that. And you're gonna see it's gonna kinda come off in two different pieces because there's that clear layer, uh, there's a good showing of it on top, and then the actual black vinyl below it. So all you're gonna do is go like this and just go slowly, that's the key, is you don't wanna rush this, just take your time, you're not, you're not in a rush. Um, you're gonna just pull this off, and there we go. See, that's nice clean look. And then you're gonna, of course, have that second uh, sticker here for the month, and you're just gonna repeat that same process over here. So just take your time and, and get that done. Okay, so after you're done applying all the wrap, uh, the vinyl, and you get out any bubbles or any imperfections, the next step is gonna be taking off the clear layer on top of the plate. So sometimes that can be a little tedious and hard to get off if you don't have longer nails. So what I like to do is just 
take a, uh, a knife, of course be careful, and you're gonna get in between uh, the vinyl and that uh, clear layer. So right here, I'm just gonna go and take the knife. Just like that. You're gonna be able to pull this off and this is kind of what it's gonna look like closer towards the end. So you can see it looks all scratched up here. Once you take that off, looks nice and clean. Another thing you're gonna to wanna to do is when you're, uh, after you pull off that clear layer, is you wanna make sure all of the corners and like the edges are down and there's not like tension. The goal is not to turn this around and wrap it fully until all these uh, corners and edges are nice and smooth. Because if you put tension on the back, it's gonna pull that up and then you're gonna notice some like bubbling around this area. So all you're gonna do is just go around, press, and make sure all of that's out. Just go around the whole plate. Okay, so then after you're done pressing around all the corners, now you're gonna just pull the wrap around. The corners are gonna be like the, the harder part, but not hard. As you can see, I just did it right there. And you just want to put some tension, not too much, and you're gonna tuck that around the plate. For the corners, like I said, this is how I like to do it. Just around, form it as you go. There's no rush. And after that, you are done with the first part. Okay, so now I finished tucking all of the vinyl around the edges, looks nice and clean. Now the next part is going to actually be putting the letters and numbers along with the California font onto the plate. So as you can see here, this is on some transfer paper. So all you're gonna do is pull this off and in some cases this might stick to the white uh, transfer paper, or to the white backing. All you're gonna wanna do is just kind of give it some, uh, some pressure and just pull that off and it should be like this. And now what's, gonna, what's great about this transfer paper is you're, it's clear so you're able to see through it and kind of see what you're doing. So um, all you're gonna do is just align it up. And this is where you just wanna once again take your time because you just don't wanna mess up with this but you're just gonna go like that and then press down on it and as you can see, that's stuck a little bit, and you're just gonna go press and pull it off like that. Another thing that you're gonna wanna do and take into consideration when you're uh, putting the letters and numbers down is not pressing down all the way um, until you're happy with the positioning because um, once you press down, it's difficult to get up and uh, you want the best results possible. So just make sure you're happy with the uh, location of the the decals and once you are then you can just go ahead and press down as normal and then see in this case I wanted to move it down a little bit more so since I didn't apply the whole decal I'm able to just pull gently and restart it holds the stick quite well but you definitely don't want to be putting your fingers on the back and uh, getting the oils from your fingers onto the actual adhesive of it or else it's not going to stick as well so just keep that in mind Okay, now if you remember from earlier in the video, I told you to take a picture of your license plate. This is when it's gonna come in handy. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna look where exactly this lines up. So as you can see for this plate, the C is just towards the, uh, the front half of the Z. So I'm gonna use that to line it up. Now, um, this is like the same exact font as what you normally see. The sizing can vary a little bit, but this is what we find to look best. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull this off and make sure to uh, the transfer paper gets those um, dots in the eyes because those tend to come off. But as you can see, not a problem here. And now you're going to wanna 
take the take your phone so you can see what you're doing and make sure that this is even you don't want it slanted either way and uh, you also don't want to pr uh, even let it touch the vinyl until you're satisfied with the location because this is definitely one where it would be hard to remove after putting on so I'm just gonna go I'm gonna line this up here and I'm gonna make sure this is nice and even and you can use these uh, lines that are on the transfer paper to help you with that so after that I'm just gonna press that on and now I'm going to uh, press down on all of the vinyl Okay, and then when you remove this, you just wanna go nice and slow so that the vinyl isn't coming off. You see right here, it's starting to tug it. So that means you wanna just go press down a little bit harder there and then continue to pull. And just make sure to do this slowly because if you do pull it too fast, um, you're, you have the possibility of ripping the vinyl. So just go nice and slow, take your time and remove all of the vinyl. And another key point is making sure that these eyes stay on once again because they are uh, the little dots on the eyes are known to come off um, on the transfer paper just because they're the smallest little piece so you're just gonna go as you see here keep pulling this along not going too fast making sure everything's looking right and then just like that plate wrap is done and just like that the plate is done and it looks great Okay, so as you remember, of course, the uh, the way to put the plate on is with the uh, the screws or fasteners, uh, like originally. So there's going to be the two spots, um, at least for this car, where um, where there's the holes, but the vinyl is covering it. So all you have to do is you can even use something like a pencil to break through it. Um, but in this case, I'm just going to use the fasteners because they are uh, they're sharp. All you're going to have to do is just to go in that exact area, press in, and it's gonna be the same exact as, uh, as before. So it's just like that. And you're just gonna do that to both sides. So as you can see, you can kind of just press that in so you know exactly where it is. And then you can just go right through the center. And just like that, we're all good. All right, and just like that, we just put the, uh, the plate back on. And as you can see, looks great. Um, goes well on any car, but of course on this black car it looks amazing, so. Okay everyone, so uh, previously um, you saw the gloss variant, and this is gonna be the carbon fiber one. And uh, it, it's basically the same process, there's not much different between the gloss and the carbon fiber, but they are uh, slightly different. So the carbon fiber is a little bit less malleable because it's more of like a, it's just a thicker type of vinyl and um, once again we use like the highest quality carbon fiber vinyl that you can get as you can see it really does like amazing especially in the sunlight and everything it looks uh it looks extremely close to real carbon fiber i'm sure that some people would think it honestly is carbon fiber so um the difference with this type of vinyl is that uh, once you lay it down, it's a little bit less malleable. So what I mean by that is it's not a little bit less flexible, but it's not a problem. We've tested it a ton of times. Uh, it works great. And um, the, the only thing that you're gonna wanna keep in mind is because it's less malleable, there sometimes can be some bubbles that arise um, more in the kind of like the channels of the numbers and the letters. And um, all you have to do if that occurs and you see some bubbles is one, you can try and push it out, which is uh, the, the first step that you should take. And then two, if that doesn't work, then we suggest you just use thumbtacks. Uh, you can use thumbtacks, you can use just like a regular sewing needle, it doesn't matter, any, all, any of that works. And all we suggest you doing is just going to any spot that there might be a bubble and just uh, gently sticking it through the vinyl. Uh, you won't be able to notice it uh, from the, like the outside view, but it'll make it to where the air escapes and it'll look nice and flush once again. So that's just what we suggest doing. Um, and we've done that a ton of times as well and it always comes out looking great. So as you see for this one, um, there's not really any bubbles in this one, but that's because we uh, used the thumbtack and uh, we got out any air pockets or air bubbles in the first place. So that's all we did and that's what works. Okay, now 
Uh, as you can tell, for the California plate, uh, there's two different variants. There's the legacy plates, like this one, which are originally black with the yellow uh, numbers and letters along with the California, or there's just the standard white and blue plate that most people have. So both of these vary on, um, on the California design. The numbers and the letters are all the same. They're all the same uh, size and, and uh, font but the California it varies. So if you notice for the uh, typical white and blue plate, it's a cursive font and it's also larger. Um, and it's, a f it's flat on the background where, this, uh, where the California sits. But on this one, if you're able to tell, it's actually embossed. So it's raised on here and, um, and that means that you can't use the same font or um, the same decal for it, which is why on our site we ask you to specify whether you have the white and blue plate or do you have the legacy plate. So for the legacy plate, it's going to be essentially the same process as um, putting down the letters and numbers on uh, the regular part of the license plate, but for the California. So we're going to provide you with all the decals for it, and you're just going to slowly take your time once again, uh, put each one of the uh, letters down, and, uh, and and just take your time, and it looks good. Um, as you can see, this one is for uh, a customer of ours, and we've already shown him pictures of it, and he absolutely loves it. Uh, carbon fiber, it, it definitely uh, it makes a statement. This is not like a typical plate, um, but we think that it's just a great looking option if this is what you choose. So uh, if you have any questions, definitely feel free to contact us. All right, guys, and I think with that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. As you can see, we showed you a full tutorial on how to go from your standard license plate to this kind of license plate, whether it be carbon fiber, standard black, or standard white like we have. And I think that's it. So don't forget to tune in to our other videos. We're going to be uploading all kinds of different content on here. Vlogs, challenges, who knows. So giveaways for sure. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell for post notifications. Don't forget to smash a like so the algorithm does its thing. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.